Hey, so in this section of the tutorial, we are going to um, create a trigger to load a new scene, which is going to be a canvas, kind of a menu scene, and then um, that will display our score and give us some feedback and have a button to go to the next level um, or to choose a level. Then we're going to make that other level. Um, it's going to be lots of stuff. So uh, I am going to be clicking back and forth between Unity and the um, uh, written instructions that I have. That's because there's so many ways to do this and in so many orders, and I'm going to try to follow the order that I put here to make it easier for people that are using these two in combination. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to rename our cube to platform. And the reason why we're going to do that is because um, cube doesn't really make as much sense to us. That could mean anything. And so if we call it platform, then we kind of know what we're talking to about. Talking about that's just better nomenclature. Okay, so now that's renamed to platform. Now, here's our platform. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add at the end of the platform, we're going to add an empty. Um, and so in our hierarchy, we're going to create create empty. Now, this empty is by default not at all the size that we want it to be. And what we want it to be is we want it to, to be placed right at the end of our platform. And we want it to be um, taking up uh, the whole width of X, which is, it should be three. That didn't do anything. Oh wait, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Reset that. Let's just reset. And okay, so we're gonna bring it here. Whoa, hi. That's a fast mover. Okay, so here it is. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add this box collider. So we're going to add component and we're going to add a box collider. We just need a, colli a collider and um, it makes most sense for it to be square. And so actually what we want to do is we want to change this, the size of the box collider because we want the thing um, that our player hits to take up the entire player's pathway. So if we say an X of three, Okay, that's good. And then position-wise, we just want to make sure it's centered there. And then um, I want to make it taller because later if we add in a jumping feature, I don't want anybody to um, be able to jump over it. Oh, wrong number. Try Y, of course, is height. Four, so there we go. And then we'll just drag it up here because we don't need it underneath the platform. So there we go. So now we have this big, huge, invisible wall. And later on, we're going to use this wall to be a trigger. OK, the wall is currently named game object, which is not useful. So um, we are going to call this one level one end. OK, so that's going to be the thing that ends level one. And we're also going to click it and drag it and drop it onto platform. Okay, so now the platform includes this trigger. Uh, all right, so we've got our platform and we've got our trigger. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to tag this trigger. So um, the trigger is currently untagged, but we want to tag it as level one end. Um, I have already created this tag, but if you haven't made it yet, you can say add tag and click the plus sign, type in level one end and say save. Um, at that point, you'll be here and your, oh, sorry, it was the platform. You've got to make sure you're tagging level one end. Um, so you need to, over in your hierarchy, you need to go back and select it again. And that puts you back here and you can see that it's not tagged. So we're going to say uh, level one end. So now this is currently tagged as level one end. So in our script, we can say if the game object tag is level one end, then open a new level. All right, let's go back and see where we are. So we changed the name. Uh, we added a box collider. We made it a child. We changed the location. 
Um, we added the tag. Okay, so now here's where we need to go back to our pickup script from previous tutorials. And we're going to add a few things. One thing we're going to add is using Unity Engine Scene Management. This is the amazing library that allows us to um, uh, go from level to level. So we're going to go back to Unity here. Um, actually, I'm just going to jump straight to Monodeveloped. I'm in Pickup Script here, and I already have this added. I meant to unadd it for you. So it's added right there. So you're just going to paste that there. Uh, the next thing that we're going to add is this public static in front of int coin counter. And what this is going to do is it's going to make our coin counter information available to other levels, which is really cool. Um, and <laughs> I made a mistake here. Void start. Coin counter equals zero. Okay. Um, so so that's how that will be. And now we're going to add this other part of the script. So we're going to add another else if, and it's going to be another hit game object compare tag, except this one is going to be um, level one end. So we're going to add an else if hit pot hit uh, dot game object dot compare tag, um, and I'm just copying from up here, but I'm really slow at typing for myself. Okay, and then the, the tag, I just want to double check in game. Oops, level one in. The tag is lowercase level, capital one, capital end. So, uh, level one end. Did I do that? I did that. Level one end, and then you can see up here for our grammar. Oops, wrong way. I'm going to close that. Okay, good. And then we're going to open the parentheses, open the curly brackets. And then in here, this is where we need to tell it to change the level, and I forget how to do that. So I'm going to go back here. And okay, so we did that part. I know, I understand that. Okay. This next part is the scene manager, so we're calling that library, and then load scene, and then we just give the level name, uh, and it's in single mode, which you could explore later. So I'm just going to copy both of those, command C, and go back into mono develop and paste that in. Okay, so there we go, we've made those changes. I just saved it, command S. Um, and there we go. So let's check and see what our next thing was. So we're going to add that. Okay, we're going to save the scene, and I don't have that in here yet. Okay, so let's go back and save scene. Um, and the next thing is we're going to make level two. Okay, so if we go back here, we saved our script already. We're going to say file, save scenes. So this makes sure that level one is saved in its current condition. And then we're going to go File, Save Scene As, and we're going to call it Level 2. So this is going to give us all the attributes of Level 1, um, only it's in Level 2. And it has placed us in Level 2 now, but you'd always want to check that. Um, and you can see our Level 1 end is there, so um, that's handy. And we've got all our avocados, and the avocados are all still tagged. Um, but this is going to be level two. So what we might want to do is, for example, um, change the color of the platform. Or so if we go into platform, and um, that's that default. So let's just say create material uh, platform. Form. What color should we make it? Let's just double click there. Oh, where'd you go? Platform, double click that. And then uh, let's use this albedo. And 
Hey, why not green? How about that color of green? Uh, no, the avocado. Mm. Purple is a nice color. How about that purple? Okay, let's do that. So that's selected. So we can close that. And now we can um, drag our platform material onto the platform. So now when people, oopsie, sorry, platform. Okay, are we there? Yeah. So now when people go into level two, they're going to have a purple platform. So we can say file, save scene. And then we can just go back to level one and see if we change the level one platform. We did not. Um, now, uh, if in, so when you're in level two, if you make changes to, for example, if you go into your prefabs folder and you make changes to the avocados or the oil cans in your prefabs folder, that will change it for both level two and every, everywhere that these prefabs are used. But if you go in here and change these avocados one by one, those changes will not affect level two. Okay, so now we have, um, a, a level one that looks a lot like level two. Um, and if you want to make it really hard, you could do a, a trick like this. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm, I'm being really clumsy right now. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's okay there. Um, okay, I'm not going to do this. I was well, let's just try. Take the top one, hold shift, take the bottom one, right click, duplicate. Okay, now you've just duplicated all of your oil cans and they're all selected. So I believe that if I grab this and pull it forward, it's just going to make such a mess of oil cans in our in our scene. So now we've doubled the number of oil cans. So, and I'll just grab this one and delete it. So we'll go right click delete. So now level two has tons of oil cans um, and it has, still has its level ending machine. Um, yeah, so that makes level two different. So you've, now we've created level two and we have adjusted level two. So going back to the instructions, um, we're going to save that scene. Okay, so now we're going to create the end of level scene, but I think I'll, I'll make that into another video because we've been talking for a long time. So at this point, things aren't going to work. We can't press play because we don't, ha we haven't put in all the details that we need to put in. Um, but basically what we've done is we've um, uh, adjusted the pickup script um, to have a level ender that loads another scene. And we have, um, uh, we have, I don't know, I could do it really quickly. Let's do this. Uh, level two. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so you've got your level one, level two, your pickup script is ready for your score to be public and for your, um, for your level one end to be a trigger to go to the intermediary level.